Hey everyone, welcome to the open question. They say evolution is just a theory, as if adding the word just somehow weakens it. As if it's a guess or a wild assumption someone made up one day and scientists just ran with it. That's one of the most common misunderstandings people have about science. Because in science, the word theory doesn't mean a hunch. It means an explanation backed by mountains of evidence, tested again and again, and capable of making accurate predictions. Evolution isn't a guess. It's a well-supported explanation for how life changes over time. The problem is the word theory is used differently in everyday speech. People say, I have a theory, when they mean they have an idea. But in science, a theory is the strongest possible explanation we have, based on facts, logic, and repeatable experiments. Gravity is a theory. Germs causing disease is a theory. Atomic structure is a theory. And yet, no one says, gravity is just a theory, so maybe things won't fall tomorrow. But evolution? Suddenly it's questionable? Let's clear this up. Before we go further, just a quick note. My videos often get reported or shadow banned for tackling topics some people don't like. So I've made a backup channel called The Rational Lens. If you want to keep seeing content like this without interruptions, please take a second to visit it and subscribe. It really helps keep everything going no matter what happens here. Now, back to the facts. Evolution is the process by which living things change over generations. It explains how all species on Earth, including humans, share common ancestors. It's not a story someone invented, it's an observation. In the 1800s, Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace independently noticed something strange. When you study animals and plants across different continents and islands, you find patterns, patterns that don't make sense if all species were created at once and never changed. But those patterns do make perfect sense if species change slowly over time, adapting to their environment, competing to survive, passing down traits, and producing offspring with small differences. That's what evolution explains. Darwin didn't just say, here's my theory, take it or leave it. He spent decades collecting evidence from fossils, plants, birds, and geology. He didn't rely on faith, he relied on facts. The result? A body of work so detailed, so carefully argued, that it still forms the foundation of biology today. And since then, we've collected more evidence than Darwin could have ever dreamed of. We now know that DNA connects all living beings. Humans share about 98.8% of our DNA with chimpanzees. Not because someone made a mistake at the lab, but because we share a common ancestor. And it's not just chimps. We share about 85% of our DNA with mice, and even about 60% with fruit flies. This isn't poetic symbolism. These are hard facts from genetic science. Our bodies carry the evidence of our evolutionary past in every cell. Some people still argue, but evolution is just a theory because it can't be proven. That's not how science works. Science doesn't deal in proof the way math does. Science builds models that explain the natural world. And when those models survive testing, observation, and experimentation, they earn the title of theory. In fact, evolution has been tested so thoroughly that no credible scientist in the field doubts its reality. One of the most compelling forms of evidence comes from fossils. We have thousands upon thousands of them, documenting the gradual change of life over millions of years. We see fish that developed limbs. We see reptiles turning into birds. We even have transitional fossils that show the steps between ape-like ancestors and modern humans. In fact, we have so many fossils that paleontologists can trace entire lineages, showing clear shifts in structure over time. This isn't speculation. It's physical evidence you can hold in your hand. Still, some argue, if humans evolved from apes, why are there still apes? That's like asking, if Americans came from Europeans, why are there still Europeans? Evolution doesn't say one species turns into another, like flipping a switch. It says species can split. One branch might stay relatively unchanged, while another adapts to a new environment. We didn't come from the apes you see today. We share a common ancestor with them that lived millions of years ago. 
that ancestor gave rise to multiple branches, one of which led to us. Others say there are gaps in the fossil record, so evolution can't be true. But gaps in data aren't evidence against a theory. Fossils are rare because conditions have to be just right for them to form. The Earth has gone through massive changes, earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, that destroy a lot of history. The fact that we have as many fossils as we do is astonishing. And even with the gaps, the overall picture is clear. Life has changed and continues to change. Then there's the claim, no one has ever seen evolution happen, so it's just a guess. That's also wrong. We have seen evolution happen within human lifetimes. Bacteria evolve resistance to antibiotics. That's why some drugs stop working over time. It's not magic. It's evolution in action. You expose bacteria to antibiotics. Most die, but a few survive due to random mutations. Those survivors multiply. Soon, you have a population that the drug can't kill anymore. That's natural selection. It's not a theory on paper. It's a crisis in hospitals around the world. The same happens with insects and pesticides. Farmers spray chemicals. Some bugs die. Some survive because of genetic quirks. Those survivors reproduce, and the next generation is harder to kill. Over time, you end up with superbugs. That's not a belief. That's observable evolution. In labs, scientists have even seen fruit flies evolve over just a few dozen generations when exposed to different temperatures, environments, or food sources. They've documented changes in behavior, reproduction, and even physical traits. These aren't long-lost fossils. These are real-time observations. And let's not forget dogs. Every breed of dog we know, Chihuahuas, Great Danes, Huskies, Dachshunds, came from the gray wolf. In just a few thousand years, humans selectively bred traits they wanted. That's artificial selection, but it uses the same mechanism as natural selection. Nature does the same thing without needing humans. Then comes the argument, evolution can't explain how life began. That's a common confusion. Evolution doesn't try to explain the origin of life. It explains how life changes once it exists. The origin of life, called abiogenesis, is a different field of study. Just because we don't know every step of how life first formed doesn't mean the entire scientific understanding collapses. That's like saying, we don't know where the first fire came from, so fire doesn't exist. One of the reasons people cling to anti-evolution beliefs is because they were taught that life is fixed, created as is, and unchanging. That's comforting. It gives people a sense of purpose. But nature doesn't owe us comfort. It offers reality. And reality is far more fascinating than any ancient story. The truth is, life is messy, full of trial and error. Species rise and fall. Most that ever existed are now extinct. Nature doesn't have a master plan. It works with what it has, favoring whatever helps an organism survive and reproduce. That's what evolution is. It's not directed. It's not purposeful. It's a process that plays out over time through random mutation and natural selection. Even our own bodies carry marks of evolution's imperfection. Our eyes have a blind spot. Our backs aren't well-designed for upright walking. That's why so many people have back problems. The nerves in a giraffe's neck take a ridiculously long route because they evolve from animals with shorter necks. No intelligent designer would build it that way. But evolution explains it perfectly. Science doesn't claim to have all the answers. But it builds on what we do know. It's honest. It changes when better evidence appears. And unlike belief systems that never update, science improves. Evolution is a theory, yes, but in the scientific sense. That means it's the best explanation we have, supported by evidence from genetics, fossils, anatomy, and observable changes in living organisms. Dismissing it by saying just a theory shows a lack of understanding about how science works. It's not a guess. It's a reality backed by over 150 years of research. And it keeps getting stronger. When you look at the natural world through the lens of evolution, everything starts to make sense. The patterns in our DNA, the fossil record, the similarities between species, the imperfections in our design, 
even the way diseases evolve. And when something makes sense across so many fields of science, biology, chemistry, genetics, paleontology, it's not just a theory. It's the best tool we have for understanding who we are, where we came from, and how life continues to change. There's no need for superstition when reality is already this astonishing. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.